Hey, on today's uh, Q&A, we're going to go over the two types of uh, sanity issues you see in a criminal case in Louisiana. One deals with the time of the offense. The second one deals with what happens um, during the proceeding. So what do I mean? It is a defense to a crime if someone was insane at the time of the offense. How do you show that? You have to show that by some mental disease or defect, something going wrong in their head, that they were unable to determine the difference between right or wrong at the time of the crime. If you can show that, then they would be then be found not guilty and not guilty by reason of insanity. Now you have to enter that plea before trial and the defendant will actually have to present evidence to show that um, defect and the state has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the person was sane and could appreciate the consequences of their act. They knew the difference between wrong and right. Well, what happens if you were sane at the time of the offense but you have no idea as to what's going on? You are. You, you are ill lucid right now. Well, then you can't be prosecuted for the time being. And so what this is, is this is called a competency hearing. Due to some mental condition of the accused, at this moment in time, that accused is, does not understand what's going on and has the, is unable to assist their lawyer with their defense. And when that issue is raised, the defense attorney has to make some type of showing as to why they think that is going down why they think that their client can't help them. And then the court will appoint a uh, what's called a sanity commission. I don't like that word, but they'll appoint uh, some forensic psychiatrist or forensic um, psychologist, and uh, they will examine um, your client. Um, they will go over different criteria. It's called the Bennett criteria, just named after a case um, where the issue came, first came up to uh, make a professional opinion as to whether or not this person understands the nature of the charge, the consequences of what goes on in court, and are in a position where they can adequately help their attorney and assist in the uh, defense. If they can, the case can go to trial. If they can't, there's a timeout. Um, the person's gonna get some mental health treatment and possibly even some prescriptions, and they will routinely revisit him, and they will see if his competency changes. Once it does, the case can be prosecuted. If it doesn't, then you may be looking at a civil commitment down the road, um, but we can get into that in another video. Um, I hope that answers some common questions today. If you have any specific questions about a case you are aware of, uh, you can email me at the link below and I'll get back with you. Thank you.